All right, so this is my review of AOKP Build 32 on the touchpad. I made a how to install video if you don't know how to install. Um, this is where I, I left off from the install video where it says make yourself home if you're on your apps. Um, you get the basic apps that come with, you know, CM. Like, CM9 has the same apps. Um, the only difference is, though, under settings, you get ROM control. I'm not really going to go over display or anything like that. Because it's the same for all uh, ROMs. You do get to swipe away. And you do get some AOKP wallpapers, I think. At least I did on the build for the Evo. 3D. So you get the live wallpaper if you want unicorns on your uh, tablet to show you what it's like. Um, yeah, I'm gonna change it back to the, just the regular ICS wallpaper, like the default, because I, I like it. I I think it looks nice. Um, but going back to apps. You can also go to your widgets from here too. You actually get a ROM ROM control widget too. I don't know what that is. Just hold it. Um, I don't know why, but every time I press and hold on it, it just does that. So if you can't use it, Let me try again. Go back to apps. Um, let me try power control. So, I don't know about adding, wait, maybe I have to add them like this. Um, let me try. No, it just, okay. So, adding widgets, um, it's not working. I don't, let me try Gmail. Nope. So, that's something you need, you should know about this build. Try email. No. So widgets do not work, but the clock is on there. But I can't add another one. Even though there's already a clock there, I can't add another one. I don't know about that. I don't really use widgets, so but I mean that's just something. Um but you get super user, play store. You do get um, HP touchpad settings, so so you can change it for a finger or a stylus. I think that's pretty cool. Um, that's all there is under that, though. But going back to settings and under ROM control, you can see that there's an an about AOKP where you you can um like help the developer by you know PayPal and stuff. But under that, you you go to Generally, why you can disable boot animation, disable bug mailer, allow 180 degrees rotation, which that's the default on the tablet. So you can have this CRT off animation, which is that. Um, that's where you have that. Like when you're on the keyboard, like you can have that where you can change keyboard. You can change carrier label. Um, I don't have one because again, this is a tablet. Well, back to kill. Enable volume options. Um, the navigation bar. You can put menu. Um, down here, I think. Then you you can also change the color. See, you can see now that it matches that. You can also change. Um. Like the buttons down there, you can have up to, I think five, yeah. So you can have five, but not just regular three. Um, for lock screen, you can have a, a custom lock screen wallpaper that's not the same as a, uh, as like your home screen wallpaper. You can change lock screen text color. You can even change the style. It's on Honeycomb, AOSP, Octo, Quad, and Stock. Try AOSP. 
Yeah. Um, that just kind of looks weird on a tablet. But I mean, if it works. Um, yeah. The Octo is eight, and Quad is four. I don't know if you guys should probably know that, but maybe some of them. You can have the the weather unlock screen, also your battery percentage, and then music controls, and have the volume rocker like wake up the screen. Um, you can even have your calendar and also fast torch. I don't have a flash on the on the HP touchpad, so it's not really gonna work for me. Um, but like for the weather and stuff, let me go to weather real quick. Let me enable it. Show location, start custom app, refresh. You can even change how it looks. Um, I'll have it above carrier text, I guess. And you can see right there, Middleburg, eighty three degrees. So when I lock it, it should also be on the lock screen. Yeah, see it. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, for the power menu, that's when you hold down the power button. You can show screenshot torch doesn't. Well, because I don't have a flashlight, so that doesn't work. Um, you can have the, the navigation bar toggle. So you can hold down power. You now get these. Back, home, menu. So when you hit menu, well, there isn't a menu button here, but there are options. Um, under general, you can choose like the icon transparency, USB debugging icon, and status bar font. Um, I'll, I'll go back to toggles. For its startup tweaks, you have to allow super user permissions. Um, you can enable or disable. There's Zipline APKs, enable SD boost. Um, read ahead, fix permissions, clear cache. I'm really not sure what this is. So I'm just going to leave that. Um, and performance. Um, you can put the HP touchpad at 1.7 A2. Um, I choose interactive. Set up boot, free memory, scrolling, fast charge. Um, I don't, I don't know if the, if this kernel supports it but um for the signal we don't really have it like we just have the wi-fi like you can change the color you can change the text under battery you can change the battery style so if you want the circle you can see how it changed um or you can also change where it's at thickness i kind of like the stock It's, it's just preference. You can also change clock style. On, on a touchpad, you, well, on a tablet in general, you can't really change it as much as on a phone. On a phone, you can have it in, in the center, um, in the center on the navigation thing. Um, for the day of the week, you can have it show that. I don't know if it does on a tablet. Besides right there, but I think it always showed that. Um, on, on toggles, you can change like what toggles you want. This swagger, it's just there. It doesn't do anything. But, like you can have it there if you want. I personally don't know why, but um, you can put it on silent. You can click all these if you want, and then see they just show up right there. Um, and then you can change the style too. You can have the icon only and no text. I like the text though. Um, you can change the order. You can change the brightness and stuff. And you can even change the toggle style. So you can use these. It's, it's just preference on like what kind of toggles you like. You either like those, you like these. I like these. That's just my preference. You can change. I mean, you don't really need these all. So, and then you can have auto brightness. 
And then you also can hit this and like you can enable toggles here and notifications or you can jump right into settings. Close that. Um, I don't think it comes with any custom ringtones. So yeah, these are all just kind of stock Android 4.0. Um, the, the keyboard is the default. And then you have developer options. I'll show you the keyboard. This is this is a keyboard. Um, I, I like to change the keyboard because like to, on the to the thumb keyboard because it just works better for me. Also, on the about tablet, it, it it's it is running Android four point zero point four. This is build thirty two of AOKP. So when build thirty one comes out, I'll I'll do like a review, but I'm not gonna do like a full review. Because most of them are kind of the same. Um, the change logs, the change log, they fix like the nav bar showing up. Here, I'll, I'll show you. So, for the fixes, they just fix nav bar showing up in landscape, fix long press, resetting custom nav bar icons. Fix incorrect. I mean, they're just kind of like the features though that I really like is pinch and zoom on the camera, which the camera on the HP Touchpad doesn't work yet. But if if it works on you know your phone that you're running AOKP on, it's pretty cool. Um, and then just like a few other new features. But that's that's about it. So that was my review of AOKP Build 32 on the HP Touchpad.